Hello productive people and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about seven softwares that I use on a daily basis just to get through the day and stay productive. So I hope that this helps. By no means are these all of the softwares that I use, but these have helped me streamline my processes in running my marketing agency as well as making YouTube videos and personal knowledge management as a whole. So I'm just going to start out with my favorite Notion. All right, so Notion, as you can see, is kind of the core driver of a lot of the things in my life and a lot of the things that I keep track of. So I use it for tracking life metrics, things like habits, things like uh, workouts, just the day-to-day -day sort of uh, everyday things that don't get necessarily put into the tasks bucket, but they are habits that I want to keep track of. And I keep track of life metrics elsewhere. I use the Aura Ring to track my sleep and my activity as well as the Apple Watch, but a lot of it ends up right there in Notion. I also do some goal setting in Notion. And again, this is something that I do in other softwares as well a little bit, but the main place where I store my long-term goals is Notion. So that gets a lot of time in the beginning and ending of each quarter and each year, but I don't spend a ton of time in there other than looking at my overarching goals. And then Notion is also great for knowledge management, as you guys know. So I use it for journaling, video scripting, learning notes, just anything where I wanna take notes and store that information in a uh, useful way. And then I also use Notion as a life wiki. So just a few of the ways that I use it are for SOPs, standard operating procedures in my company, just to share how something is done so that we can have quality control across all of our operations and then uh, like recipes and things like that. There's some other things that I use the life wiki sort of setup for, but recipes are the main thing. So I can keep track of different meals that I've liked in the past and how to cook them and what ingredients are involved. And I actually made a great video on that. So if you guys wanna check out that video, I will leave a card up in the corner of this video to check out my Notion meal planner video. Now, moving along to the more important and more productive side of all of this uh, is project management, which is derived from the SOPs. So how are you going to carry out those projects and how should contractors carry out those projects as well as video scripting, which makes its way down to the making videos. So these are kind of the end results of what Notion provides for me. Recipes, SOPs, journaling, video scripting for videos, um, learning notes. And then next we have a software that I've reviewed a couple times on this channel, and that is Miro. Now I really like Miro because it's kind of like a baby version of Photoshop, but I can create any sort of diagrams, presentations, just any sort of visual representation that I need throughout the day. So Miro has been an instrumental tool in doing that. And I use Miro for diagrams that go into my knowledge management and aid my mainly my learning notes and my video scripting, but I also use it for presentations. I'm using it right now for this mind mapping presentation that I created. And those presentations go into you know, making videos and project management interweaves with making videos as well. And then the other thing that I use Miro for because I do run a marketing agency is just different like website planning. So I'll build site maps, very basic mockups in Miro. You can't build super high fidelity mockups in Miro. You've got to use a tool like Figma or a tool like Photoshop to do that, in my opinion. But for a simple website, it works really well for just planning the general flow of it. So that works really well for me as a web developer and a web designer. And so, yeah, Miro kind of fits into that puzzle where Notion can't necessarily visually represent something. And I think of Notion as more of the back end of this whole system. And then I think of Miro as a way to provide visual aids to improve the rest of the system. Next, we have another software that I've talked a little bit about on this channel, and that is ClickUp. I love ClickUp for any sort of project management. You can't go wrong with Notion, but I would say that when it comes to just getting things done and working as a team to do that, ClickUp is definitely a stronger tool. So what I'll mainly use ClickUp for is just that project management piece because it's just so good at that. And a lot of times my SOPs and just the general tutorials that I use to teach uh, employees, contractors, and just to remind myself how to do something in terms of project management, those are getting funneled into ClickUp as well. They get produced in Notion and then they move over to ClickUp. Or sometimes I've found that they're starting in ClickUp recently because ClickUp actually has 
some great ways to interact with docs similar to notion they've got that kind of block system where you can create a document that has all sorts of different things in it you might need to uh, get an idea across so i've really been enjoying ClickUp so far and uh, it's somewhat of a recent add-on to my routine. I mean, Notion's been a huge part of it, and I used to use Notion for project management and everything. So uh, ClickUp has kind of leveled me up in that arena. Uh, outside of that, we also have Google Calendar, which a lot of you are probably familiar with and a lot of you use, and that funnels into my project management as well because a lot of the clients that I work with, they'll use Outlook or they'll use Google Calendar and they don't necessarily jump into ClickUp as often. So this is kind of just like a database where it stores all of my events and I can get an, a quick glance at what sort of events I have coming up and what things I need to do. And then it also tracks my personal events, which kind of are a different arena, but I, I definitely use this for everything because I like to see where my schedule is going to be at. Next, you have to have an email app similar to the situation where you kind of have to have a calendar app. A lot of people don't use other applications for communication. Uh, in my industry, I mean, a lot of people do use Slack, I guess, but that's more on the side of uh, the companies that are a little bit more forward thinking. And I don't mean this to put my clients down, but a lot of them still are in the trenches of Gmail working on a lot of their projects. So as a communication app, I really enjoy Gmail. And I've actually recently used this tool called Mailman HQ to kind of funnel out any emails that I don't want to get and screen emails and block different emails just to stay productive as well. So uh, Gmail kind of slots into this system like this. It's our communication channel for project management. So think of ClickUp as our sort of internal tool where we can manage these projects and Gmail and uh, Google Calendar kind of feed into that so that we don't have to uh, be siloed off in ClickUp when our clients are working in just traditional email and traditional calendar applications. Now, this is where I think that the whole software stack gets super powerful and it just kind of all comes together. So the tool that I use to bring everything together, all of my tasks and all of my planning materials and whatnot is Sansama. Now, I did make one video or two videos on Sansama and I wanna make some more videos in the future. It's a pretty simple app, but it runs you through these mini routines on a daily basis and a weekly basis just to make sure that you are getting everything done and you're fitting it into your schedule. And the nice thing about Sansama is it actually, I didn't put the arrows feeding back, but it actually feeds back into Google Calendar it feeds back into ClickUp and you have sort of this task manager that interfaces with all of your other applications. So you can have all of your tasks in one place. You can also create new tasks and just plan things out in Sansama. So I really enjoy that overall. Now, these tools so far that I have shared aren't the only tools that I use. They're just the kind of like the daily drivers, the daily staples to my routine. And one of those other tools that I like to use, that's kind of a complementary tool to the rest of these, and it's a little bit of a different tool, is Endel. Now, Endel is a music application that helps me improve focus, and that is always going when I'm working on tasks outside of making videos or collaborating with others. But if I'm just doing something where I'm just sitting here and I'm trying to get some work done, Endel has been amazing, and I just put on my uh, Sony Bluetooth headphones or I put on my AirPods and I just, you know, get to work. I've got um, matcha tea or something like that and I'll just sit here and I'll zone in, um, maybe put my desk on standing mode every now and then just to keep me active and to keep me energized. But that is kind of my overall flow, right? We've got Notion and Miro in the back end providing sort of the, uh, the visual diagrams and any of the notes that I'm taking. And all of that funnels into the main two things, project management, making videos, and also building websites, which is kind of a sub idea from project management here. And then on the left side here, we have the actual in the trenches sort of like task tools, like getting things done, right? So that is pretty much my 2022 software stack as it stands. I'm always open to fitting new things in and I'm always trying out different software as you guys know, because I'm kind of just into software, I like it. Uh, so I don't mind uh, researching and, and trying new apps out, although it can be cumbersome at times. So 
when I need to just get things done and when I need to just focus, this is the system that I use. And I hope that this helps you guys out. I hope that you can take something from this video and maybe implement one of these applications somewhere in your routine. But I've made plenty of videos on all of these topics. So I recommend you guys check out the rest of my channel where I go more into the trenches on these different softwares. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Comment below if you enjoyed this one. Just let me know that you enjoyed it. Like the video, I'd really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow a ton and subscribe to stay updated with our videos. Also hit that little bell icon if you uh, actually want to get notifications because you won't get the notifications. Trust me, you won't. I'll just fall to the bottom of your sub box or something. So notification bell, subscribe and have a productive day. All right, see you guys.